Hello and welcome back to our latest Django tutorial series, uh, building the CMS. Uh, like I said before, our main goal right now is to set up the CMS so it's a template for you guys to build onto in the future. So what we need to do is make sure we got everything in place in the right order uh, so everything works. So um, previous tutorial, we uh, previous tutorials, we made sure that you guys had. Um, Python 3.7 installed. We went and created a virtual environment for our project. Uh, so now what we need to do is probably one of the more important parts is install Django because that's what we're learning. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you're in your virtual environment and it's activated. You can tell by the parentheses and then the name of our virtual environment right here, CMS. Um, so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and install Django. So the way we do that is we use pip and pip is a package handler for Python. So we just have to type in pip install Django like that. And it's going to go ahead and collect the data, uh, install it, and also installing uh, time zones for Python and Django. All right. Um, once this is su successfully done, we should have at least Django 2.1.2 on your system. Um, and disregard this, my pip version is out of date. All right, so next thing we want to do is now that we have that installed, that was very simple, very easy. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and create our project, all right? So when we create a project in Django, uh, Django has this awesome, I guess, starter process. It will build a, a Django project for us, a default project, something we can work with. In theory, if we just went and ran the server, after we create this project, it would actually run and we would see something, which is pretty cool because if you're working with, um, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, I forget what I was going to say. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, let's just go ahead and get this started. All right. Uh, for us to um, start a project, we use a command called Django hyphen admin. All right, and this gives us access to some of the commands within the manage.py file of Django. You guys don't know what that is yet, but I'll show you shortly. Um, next thing we're gonna say is start project. All right, so we're giving it a command is, hey, start a new project, and then we need to name our command. We're gonna name our, name our project, not our command. Name our project CMS, all right, hit return. We don't see anything happen here visually to for us, but in theory, a lot of things happen behind the scenes. If we do ls, notice there's a file here called CMS. If we do cd CMS, and then we do ls, notice there's another file named CMS and a file named manage.py. Manage.py is probably one of the most important files that you'll use throughout your development. So this is a great place for us to leave off, um, and then we'll keep building all our knowledge. And I'll explain to you a lot of the things that manage.py can do and also what's contained in the CMS file. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we get Git installed on your computer. 